This is a chipmunk version of the Amazing Atheist epic takedown of Ben Shapiro. Let's listen to Ben Shapiro's moderate take on the Jacob Blake police shooting in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Okay. Ben. ben Shapiro show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Protect your online. I don't care. And then he reaches into a car and then they shoot him. Yep. And this prompted the likes of Joe Biden to issue awful statements on this whole thing, jumping to the conclusion that this was once again systemic American racism against black Americans, an unjustified shooting of an unarmed black man caught on camera, yep. that nothing had preceded it. Everything just happened the way that, that Benjamin Crump, the attorney, said. Remember, Benjamin Crump's claim was that Jacob Blake Benjamin Crump. was a I'm just going to play him. I'm not going to fucking stop him. I'm just going to talk over him when I'm and pissed. And walked away. And the cops for no reason just decided to follow him and shoot him. Well, it turns out no one, shocks, that was no one came out with that narrative, dude. All, it turns out, as we knew yesterday, I mean, I don't know, maybe Joe Blake, Biden did, but I didn't see anyone push that narrative. Blake for things including sexual assault and domestic violence. And Joe, none of this stopped Joe Biden from putting out the statement yesterday. This kind of sucks because I've already gone over this. Blake shooting in the but the um, Shapiro zone evidence, is meant to torture me, so. Evidence to come out. He said yesterday in Kenosha, Wisconsin, Jacob Blake was shot seven times in the back as police attempted uh-huh. to restrain him from getting into his car. His children watched from inside the car and bystanders watched in disbelief. Now, no, no mention of the fact that this was a man for whom there was an arrest warrant out with three kids in the back of his car. Now, typically, so what? you have a guy out. An arrest That's a warrant to arrest him. That's not a warrant to kill him. What this was, it was sexual assault. That's not a license to kill. That's a license to arrest. Dipshit. According to statutory law, somebody underage. The typically you don't let that person get in the car with kids and drive away. But in any case, yeah. Joe well, Biden then don't let him get in the car. From inside the car and arrest him. And this morning, you can arrest him without shooting him seven times. Excessive force. So he's just gonna go right with the excessive force line. This calls for immediate line. He was shot in the back seven times in front of his own children. He already knows the outcome of the investigation, which is magic. And I definitely trust Democrats on preliminarily jumping to conclusions considering that Kamala Harris and Elizabeth Warren and many members of the Democratic Party are still claiming years later after two independent prosecutorial investigations, state prosecutors in Ferguson, Missouri and one Obama DOJ investigation that the shooting of Michael The Shapiro Dome doesn't feel like a reward anyway. Have some money, you excellent bastard. It's not a reward. It's a punishment. I trust these people when it this is to make me suffer. Of criminality. And I am. Joe Biden said these shots pierced the soul of our nation. Jill and I pray for Jacob's recovery and for his children. Equal justice has not been real for black Americans and so many others. We are at an inflection point. We must dismantle systemic racism. So this was an element of systemic racism, apparently. He still didn't know whether the shooting was unjustified. He still had no evidence, even yeah. if it was unjustified. Uh, no, yeah, anybody who watched that tape and had come to the conclusion that it was justified is a moron, or a fascist, or a racist, or, or all three. We are yet to attain that all in your case, yeah. Treated equal, but more importantly, that they must be treated equal. And by the way, I love this guy. He's like, there's no systemic racism. There's no systemic racism. I was on his Twitter earlier today, and he was bitching about, oh, there's so much anti-Semitism in America. Oh no, the Democrats so anti-Semitic. He's the first to play the race card when he when it comes to playing his little Jew card, dude. Like, oh no, I'm persecuted because I'm a poor Jew. Oh, oh no, wham wham, good, boohoo. But you can get like a brief view here of what's going on. So this is but when it's anyone else's race, when like it's any other fucking oppressed minority, then it's like, oh, well, that's, the side of ignore them. But my my fucking complaints as a Jew are totally valid. That Jacob Blake is basically on the ground, right? And then he shakes the officers loose, as you're about to see. And he gets up and he starts walking away from the officers who now have their weapons drawn because he's resisting arrest. And so this is what the tape shows. Uh-huh. Right? He literally throws off the officers. He's, he's struggling. He's resisting arrest. People are standing around shouting at the police officers. He gets up, and he starts walking around the car. Now, if you're a police officer, and he has just shrugged you off, right? He has just fought you off, and he reaches into the car. Are we under the impression that he is reaching into the car, and he reaches down into the car? That he's reaching down into the car for, like, what, exactly? His ID? Don't well, let him walk into the fucking car. car. Like, the dude literally well, walks at, like, a leisurely pace around his car after having resisted with his back turned to the cops. At any moment, they could have tackled him, tased him, hit him with a fucking nightstick, sprayed him with some pepper spray, uh, just fucking straight up knock him in the back of his fucking head. There's tons of fucking non-fatal means of dealing with the fucking problem. up a fight between two women and then just calmly walking back to his car when he was accosted for no reason by the police. Is that what you see on that tape? So bottom line is this. Maybe everybody should wait for more evidence to come out. I know, controversial. Maybe everybody should wait for more evidence to come out, but no, we jumped to the conclusion. Dude, when someone gets shot American in the back racism, seven times, I don't need more evidence forever. to come out. There's no the justification for it. Racism is always even if he was shot, every situation even if he was shot once in the back, if, if he was shot once in the back, maybe there'd be like some kind of like, well, maybe we should wait for more fact. But he was shot seven times in the back. Department of Justice and the state seven times. There's no fucking possible justification for it. Meanwhile, the police union representing the officers on the Kenosha Police Force released a statement on Monday uh-huh. criticizing Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers, who immediately condemned the excessive force used by cops. Pete Dates, the president of the Kenosha Professional Police Association, said anytime deadly force is used, our hearts go out to those affected by it. We assure you an independent investigation is being conducted by the Wisconsin <sighs> DOJ Division of Criminal Investigation. Right. But none of that matters because the riots started. And the riots, people really don't like furniture and they really don't like cars. 
<laughs> what a fucking dork, dude. We ask that you withhold a prejudgment about the incident and please let the process take place. No one's breaking, no one's fucking smashing a car because they're like, oh no, the car is the source of the problem. It's about getting stupid fucks like you to actually pay attention to their voices. intricacies of a highly dynamic incident, we ask that you withhold from passion judgment until all the facts are known and released. This seems reasonable. If it was reasonable, why aren't you doing that then? I don't think it's reasonable, so I'm allowed to fucking have whatever judgment I want. But you're jumping to conclusions while saying not to. Because to you, in your mind, the default is trust the police. The default is the official story must be true. In the United States, when you claim that every individual incident is an indicator, a symptom of a broader systemic problem, and without you mean like you do every time someone says any, every time someone criticizes Israel, it's anti-Semitic. Every time, whether it's, whether it's a valid criticism of Israel or not, it's always anti-Semitic in the eyes of Ben Shapiro. He plays that race card as hard as he fucking possibly can. But when black people are murdered in the streets by police, like how, how that is what's happening. I don't see any racism here. I don't, I don't see racism. That's just a feeling. The fact is, there's no racism. Unless it's against Jews, then it, then it does exist. That was a systemically racist dumpster. There's a dump truck right here. That is a systemically racist dump truck. I wish it was a fire truck. Now that bastard can't be systemically racist anymore. Dude, what the fuck? It, down a furniture store. <laughs> no one is burning that, that shit put, down because they think that's the fucking ra- like. What the there fuck are you, you literal minded nitwit? Some of them were white and some of them were brown. They're and they're fucking creating fucking havoc. Systemically racist. So that you actually that's fucking hear their voices because, because they know if they don't racist. do that, you'll just ignore it because there's no fucking impetus for you to give a shit about a black dude that got shot to death unless they make it your problem too. You fucking fascist dipshit. I'm waiting. 